Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to make an FMC route for GeoFS Autoland. So I've already gone into FlightAware and I've gotten a list of waypoints through a route and then going through the PDFs and grabbing waypoints. So that's gotten us all the waypoints that's going to take us from Detroit Metropolitan to Pittsburgh International. So now we're going to open up GeoFS and bring it over to the left side. As you can see here, I've muted my audio because of reasons unknown um, that totally don't pertain to us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So once again, we're, fl we're flying from Detroit, so we're going to want to pause the game here and spawn in at Detroit Airport. We are going to depart northbound, so I'll just say we'll spawn in at runway 4 left. Actually, what will happen, it yeah, we'll do that, and then after we're ready, we'll go to the other end of the spawn at the other end of the runway then respawn at this end because this has a tendency to yaw left on the ground so um in 0.2-0 we updated it's possible that this was 0.1-3 we updated the waypoint list so it's a lot easier now to go and say it's a lot easier now to just put in a waypoint and have accurate coordinates given to you. Uh, yeah. So we're going to put in our departure and arrival airports. So it'll automatically say you're 175 nautical miles out from P Detroit. In reality, it's going to be about a 210 nautical mile journey. So, flight number, um, I don't know, Southwest 228. Yeah, wonderful. Actually, there, I add a code as WN, so we'll call it that. The flight number isn't necessarily, it doesn't do anything, it's just mainly decorational, so you can distinguish routes between each other. So, we're gonna go ahead and enter our first waypoint best. And it's going to pop automatically pop up with these coordinates. If you have an altitude requirement, put it there. I don't recommend putting in any altitude requirements unless you're on final approach. Since VNAV can overreact to it and overcorrect and then autopilot would disengage. So that's not exactly a good thing. So I'm not going to put in altitude waypoints. And now altitude requirements. And then we'll just go and yeah we'll do this actually we're gonna stop right here uh the time lapse so um uh, this halen waypoint is the first waypoint actually it isn't the first it's the third waypoint on our final approach so we're going to open up this file here so here we have our first altitude requirement at that we're going to put in at Koslu which is 4,000 feet same thing at Halen which would also be 4,000 feet and then the ne the last one really is at Pit which would be, let's see here, 3,000 feet. Now the elevation of this runway is 1125. So we're going to open up, I'm going to grab my calculator and say 1125 minus 140. That gives us 885. 85 we're going to round that up to 990 and this will help us with our runway waypoint so 
it's going to be runway 2, 8 left. We're going to take out those waypoint, those coordinates, and now I have to stop recording and re-record in, in Google Earth Pro. So we're here at Pittsburgh International Airport, and we're going to go to the runway that we're landing on, which is runway 28 left. We're going to make sure our camera is pointed down well, as much as it can be. Make sure it's north oriented. All that good shenanigans. Then we're going to use this ruler tool here. We're going to click right here in the middle of that threshold. And then we're going to drag it out until it gets to 930 meters. I'm just using the arrow keys to drag it out. And right around here is 930 meters. I'm just going to watch this, make sure it's on the center line, drag it out. So close. I'm so close to it. So we're going to save it, hit OK. And then we're going to make a new place mark here. We're going to drag it over to right over the end of it. And then we'll do this really quick so it's easier for us to put it in Google Maps. So we're going to load up Google Maps for, real quick. And load in that waypoint. Not the waypoint, but this. So then we'll use that as our runway waypoint. There we go. So we're back in Chrome now. Now that we have made this now this waypoint, we're going to make another waypoint titled Butter for Good Luck and with the same altitude as the runway waypoint. We're not going to put any coordinates in there. This is just so it causes the flare and not so it doesn't turn back. So after all of that is done, we have a, w a route that's ready to use, but there's that's only the actual route part of it. We have to do arrival, legs, VNAV, and program. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to generate the route, select all of it, copy it, and I'm just going to throw it into a notepad file that you can't see at the moment for use later. So that concludes this video on how to make a So that concludes uh, this video on how to make an auto land FMC route.